proto data store stored data as an instance of custom data types in this tutorial i will show how to define a schema and generate class by schema let's first add a dependency of data store in welcome page there is a only one field of enter your name we are going to add one more field for enter your bio create a mutable state for save the text field value of enter your bio and add validation on that if both the text field have empty value then next button will not be visible in enter your bio name Uh, on web value chains we have to be use the bio text value dot value equal to it create the proto directory proto data store require a predefined schema in proto file in app slash src slash main slash proto directory let's create the directory proto add proto buff plugin and dependency we are using the developer.android.com website for uh, wrapper for the getting the plugin details to work with proto data store and get proto buff to generate code for your uh, our scheme uh, we have to make some changes first uh, we have to add the proto buff plugin which is provided by the google and the proto buff and proto data store dependency let's add this dependency in our gradle file and third is the configure proto buff which we also be copy from this website create the proto file define the schema in our example we will the save the username and user bio and we will create the uh, schema in this directory proto directory which we have created in our last last action create a new file called user_info dot proto in the proto directory in this file i create a message class which name is user info in there is a two field username and user bio which i have saved into proto data store by taking input from welcome page one or two is the serial number of this field update java package and set according to your project application id update proto buff config file for fix the issue in mac system and use the ors-x86-64 manually specify the classifier because it's not able to download this artifact now you can see that the user info is the generated class which is defined in our schema create a proto data store create a pop create a proto data store we have to be create a serializer let's first create a uh, package and name with the proto it's all depend upon you 
which name you have, you have to be set create the serializer which is object user info dot serializer create serializer the t is the type defined in proto file in our case the t is the user info that class tell the data store how to read and how to write your data type let's implement those methods now uh, create a instance of data store user info call this once at the top level of your application like data store preference so it can be accessed throughout your rest of your app okay the context of user info is a inline the context of user info data store work as a singleton for your application file name parameter uh, tells data store which file to use to store the data and serializer parameter tells data store the name of the serializer class defined let's uh, write to proto data store let's go over the welcome page uh, there is a two field enter your name enter your birth we will save those value in our proto data store in the user info Let's update the existing method. Save your name and bio. Let's update method name. Create a new field for this user bio string. Right now, in this example, we have saved the username in the data store preferences. You can check out our previous uh, video on that. Now, in the below, we I am going to save these two values in our proto data store. context store using info data store it is a singleton object of the data store of user info there is a method of update data in this is a to builder in the to builder it will provide the user info object call the set username and set user bio and after that you have to call the build for save the data on proto data store by using this line you you have to be save the data on data store let's read the from proto data store uh, we will be read this value and show in our left drawer screen and the left drawer screen is in our navigation page let's navigate to the page drawer content in the drawer content there is a a compose drawer header right now the header show the only username which is saved in the data store preferences in previous video i have show how to read from data store preferences now read info from proto data store uh, read from a proto data store we uh, we are going to use the flow builder in the flow builder we will use the contents of user info data store in the method data dot map it is similar to preference data store dot map it will provide the uh, our defined data type user info 
we will collect this info write it the flow update the flow and send the user info object by using this emit it will notify where the main thread about the data has ready and we will collect this data as a state so we will use in our jetpack compose ui let's update the ui and use the data read use the date data which you have get from the proto data store username and user bio let's run this code on android emulator enter some value let's write my name it's sharp by clicking on dash it will save the data on the data store and on the drawer side i will read the data from the proto data store please subscribe my channel thank you so much